What else am I going to say? Down 40 points at one point. You lose 122 to 97. You think you're going to go into Houston and win two games? You get your ass kicked in both? Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. I'm not even going to play my if you don't like that open tonight because you know what? This team doesn't deserve that. Ryan and Sacktown, what an embarrassment. Yeah, definitely the low point of the Mike Brown era in Sacramento, Grant. I agree. I agree. Very well said. It is the low point. No Fox, I get that. But still, without Fox, this is embarrassing. You know, Jerry made a very good point at halftime. Even last year in the games that Fox did not play, the Kings offense was not bogged down like this. No, I mean, their offense is colder than Lambeau Field in January right now. They're not moving. It's just a complete mess that they've got to get figured out because guess what? They've got Portland coming in, who's won a couple games now, and that team seems like a threat based off of the two performances here in Houston. 122 to 97. Uh, once again, the starting unit for Sacramento is invisible. Would someone please let me know what happened to DeMontis Sabonis? I mean, 30 minutes, eight points, eight rebounds, five assists. I mean, he only took. You ready for this? You don't have your all-star point guard, okay? Your other your other all-star took, you ready for this? Four shots in the game. Four. How Grant, do you I think that? Well, I, I think this is the way you explain it. It ties back partially to what you talked about, about the Kings not going to get a backup point guard. Because Mike Brown knows Davion cannot run the offense the way that Davy or that Fox runs it or anybody else on that team. And so Sabonis is asked to be that de facto point guard from his Terrible. position at the top of the key or down low. And it, it's, are you asking too much instead of just focusing on your offensive game if you're him? I mean, I'm looking at the box score. There's really nothing. I mean, you know, if you really want to, like, at least Kevin Herter made some shots tonight. That's how bad things are. You know, Keegan Murray actually made two threes in this game. So, I mean, that's an improvement. Uh, I mean, the Rockets just had a field day, an absolute field day. And listen, the Rockets coasted in the final, what, eight minutes of the fourth quarter. They weren't even really trying out there. They shoot 40, what, almost 50% from three. You ready for that? 15 of 31 from three. So they shoot basically 50%. Yep. And listen to this, Ryan, for the game, for the game, the Houston Rockets shot 57%. So, Davion Mitchell's a defensive sp specialist, right? That's his forte. So he's, to be. Playing, he's playing point guard. So I understand the offense suffering. Where's the defense? Now, I'm not putting it all on him. Where's the Sacramento defense? Not only tonight, but on Saturday as well. Pathetic. They didn't They didn't get on the plane to Houston, Grant. I mean, it was straight line Maybe they drives. got jet lag. Maybe a little bit of jet lag, you know, that time difference gaining an hour can really hurt you. But uh, um, yeah, it, it's unexplainable because Houston is not an explosive team off the dribble. Van Vliet is more methodical and you've got guys like Green just going right to the rack. It, it, it's embarrassing. And here's the other thing, Grant. It's predictable. Predictable. Yep. You know, I don't understand this. Mike Brown was the unanimous coach of the year last year, okay? He's the same coach that they had last year. This is not coaching right now, okay? I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I I I can't take a guy that was the the first ever unanimous coach of the year who took this team to 48 wins and now say it's his fault, all right? I mean, it's a collective collectively everyone needs to look in the mirror. But I'm not going to start pointing fingers at Mike Brown. I'm going to I'm going to start pointing some fingers at the general manager for not getting a backup point guard, which I've been calling for now for what Ryan, a year, uh, almost over a year. Yes, and over a year. More I've been saying this team better get a veteran point guard. Better get better get a veteran backup. Better get a veteran point. They don't have it, and you're seeing what happens when De'Aaron Fox is not on the floor. Plain and yeah, simple. And we yeah, and we, we see hope, you know, when you see Colby Jones play well in the preseason. You see flashes from certain guys. But then you see what happens to Colby when he comes in the game tonight. The pressure was too much for him right off the bat with the ball yeah. handling. They have to bring in Jordan Ford. So if you're going to Jordan Ford this early in the season, that yeah. is a roster problem at this point. And, 
You know, Grant, it begs the question, does Sacramento have one star and 11 role players? Right now it looks that way, but Sabonis is a three-time All-Star, so I would say no. They have an All-Star in Fox, an All-Star in Sabonis. Hang on a minute. I got a battery issue here, right? Yeah. What do you think about this? Go ahead. I'll let you go for a minute while I fix this, okay? Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's the age-old debate, and I don't want to stir it up too much in the chat, but, you know, Halliburton for Sabonis. Well, Sabonis is a great piece to set us be alongside Fox, right? Well, irregardless of that trade, they are where they are now, and they fit well together, but I, I just look at this team, and it's like each player is looking at each other to step up to pick up the load. And Grant Fox, even if he's healthy, he's not playing 48 minutes a game. There's going to be games where he has foul trouble. The yep. Kings have to be able to bridge this gap. And the fact that we're seeing this big of a hole right this early in the season is what's troubling to me. All right. 122 to 97. The best thing that could happen to me it would be for my battery and my laptop to go dead because then I don't have to yeah. do the show anymore. And I say that jokingly. I, I appreciate the support and everyone else. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with the power here. But here, here's what I do know. There's no sure thing going home just because you're playing the Portland Trailblazers. No, no. I, Grant, you, you take away – you just look at the offense here for a second, Grant. This is two games now that the Kings have scored under a hundred points. Okay. And it's been against a team that does not play staggering defense. And on top of that, they're missing wide open threes. These aren't contested threes. They've got to find a way to start clicking a little bit better. And Grant, you know, we talked about effort and where is it going to be better coming into this game? Wasn't in the first half. Well, they got to do it in the second half. What yep. happens on the first three possessions of the second half? You get a shot caught violation and two late shots. Right before yep. the shot clock runs out. 122 to 97. We do appreciate your comments. Um, uh, this is not just on one person or one coach or anything else. This is no. a collective failure right now by this basketball team. All right. This were these were games, two at Houston and one at Portland. We said, right, okay, at the really? very worst, even without Fox, you need to win two of these three games. Now yep. they're facing losing all three as they go limping home. And who knows whether Fox is going to play on Wednesday, but you don't get these games back. These games are gone. They're done. You just lost twice to the Houston Rockets. And by yeah, the way, it, maybe we should give the Rockets some credit. They look pretty good. They look they, pretty they good. Sure, I got to give, give them credit. Yeah. Credit where credit is due, Grant. We didn't think they'd uphold that three point percentage into the second half and they damn near kept it right up at, 60% with it just being below 50. But what do we talk about? The road, right? On the road, this was a strength for the team. Yeah. What's happening now? We've got three road losses already in this early season. Boy, oh boy, man. Oh, so your Kings go on the road. They lose all three. They lose to the Warriors. They lose back-to-back -back games. And yes, this team right now, Okay, has the same record that they had last year, but this is a completely different. different feeling situation than what we saw last year. By the way, we really appreciate the Super Chat donations. So uh, he says, you want to know what the difference is between uh, the Kings and high school team? Uh, the high school team has an excuse. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know. Well done, John. I, I, <laughs> I don't even, you know, we need a little humor here. So thank you very much. We do, much, we you know? do. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it, they they're going to have to figure it out quick and I I guess this is not necessarily a good thing when you look at the Fox situation with the injury because now all the pressure is get him back as soon as possible. You don't have the luxury of staying on a conservative timeline to let that ankle fully heal. No, you don't. Uh and let's hope Trey Lyles comes back too. Uh, yes. but Yes. But I, I don't even know what else to say. I'm not, I'm, I'm not normally at a loss for words. I did a rant on this that I could understand a loss tonight, but I couldn't understand a lackadaisical ho-hum attitude. I saw that tonight, and that's very alarming this early in the season. Very alarming. Well, Grant, does it make it more alarming that this is a team that mostly was together last year? They've yes. already got a year under their belt? Yes. 
Yes. You know? Wow. Uh, Boston and Minnesota going to overtime. All right. The Timberwolves are at home. Uh, the Nuggets have now taken the lead on the Pelicans, 87-80. The Warriors win, 120-109. One the Pacers clobbered the Spurs, 152-111. to The Mavericks go on the road and beat Orlando, 117-102. to the uh, 76ers put 146 on the board. Certainly doesn't look like they're missing uh, James Harden. They no. are now 5-1. and one. Uh, The Bucks beat the Nets 129-125. to 125. The Heat edged the Lakers. The Lakers are now 3-4. and four. The final there, 108-107. to 107. Harden in his Clipper debut. They lose at the Garden to the Knicks, 111-97. to 97. Uh, The Bulls crushed the Jazz, 130-113. to 113. And the Thunder, they win again. Guess what? They're four and three. They beat the Hawks 126 to 117. The Thunder right now, I'm telling you, keep your eye. I've been saying this for months. You watch out for the Thunder. All right. You watch out for the Thunder. And, uh, you know, so we talk about teams that were behind Sacramento in the standings last year, one of them being Houston, another one being Oklahoma City. Barring injuries, the Thunders aren't going anywhere this year. Oh, here's another team that was behind the Kings last year, the Mavericks. Guess what? Yes. They're six and one. Yep, exactly right, Grant. And right after Portland, which we really shouldn't even be looking past Portland at no. this point, you got Oklahoma City coming right into Sacramento. Yep. That is going to be a tough game if De'Aaron Fox is not there because SGA has proven to be one of the up-and-coming stars in this league at that position. By the way, Portland's got a better record than Sacramento. Crazy. So, you know, before we start dumping all over Portland, guess what? They're three and four. OK, so let, let's let's acknowledge that, you know, you're taking on a team that right now is ahead of you in the standings, the Portland Trailblazers. OK, yeah, yeah, a team that both of us on this show said they don't have any chance of making the playoffs. And now look at them. I mean, it's long season, but you got to give them respect. I mean, they've got a better record than you. So here's the thing, Grant, this can all be righted if the Kings just come out and actually play as a team. We keep saying this team thing, right? But they just need to build on the positives, which right now are very little. But within the game, they can't get deflated when little things go wrong. They've got to start finding ways to make the team better. Period. Right, end of story. Appreciate, appreciate the super chat. Has Mitchell improved since his rookie year? Has improved the lick offensively. Not my opinion. Uh, I, I disagree. He's he's improved some offensively, but nothing significant. I don't see it. I, I don't see the shot improved. I, I don't personally. I don't think he's any better offensively. If he is, it's by a by a whisker. You yeah, know, it's, it, it's it, very minimal. Yeah, the number yeah. the numbers would not prove it out. No. Yeah. So, uh, and again, I'm not blaming all of this on Davion Mitchell. He is who he is. We know what he is. Uh, he's a very good defensive player. Although I I I, I don't think there was anything exciting about his defense in this particular game but offensively he's a liability as a point guard as a starter he's a liability on offense because you can go under the screens rhino and yeah. it makes a big difference when you're playing defense it makes all the difference in the world and teams are going to let Davion shoot whenever he is wide open they will leave him open as you yep. said by going under takes away Sabonis takes away whoever's setting that pick all right. Don't forget about New Works Plumbing. If you have any plumbing issues or repairs, they are there for you 24 hours a day. Go to SACServicePlumbing.com. Call that number on your screen. New Works Plumbing, they've got a fix for you. Once again, that is SACServicePlumbing.com for all of your plumbing needs and repairs. Well, 122 to 97, I, I'm going to just come out. I don't think there was one bright spot in the entire game. Do you? No, none whatsoever. Nothing. You're, you're down 40 points, Rhino, 40 points in the second half on the road against the Houston Rockets. 40. Think about that for a minute. Uh, it's in it's incredible, Grant. I, I would have I would have called you crazy to say tonight's performance would be worse, far worse than Saturday night's. And it was they had a long practice yesterday. Yep. They had a lot of film session, which is why they had a long practice and they got worse tonight. I mean, we just need to call it the way it is. They were worse tonight, Ryan, than they were on Saturday. And you and I came on the post game going, what the heck happened? How bad was that? They were at least in the game on Saturday when the fourth quarter began tonight, 
this game was over really at halftime when they were down 25 points. Grant, you can watch all the film you want. If if the matchups are not in your favor as the Kings, you're going to struggle against the team. And guys, we're sitting here putting the Kings on the pedestal and putting the Rockets way down here. We may be looking back at these games when we're three quarters of the way through the season and say, you know what? The Rockets were a really good team, and that's where the Kings were they, compared to the Rockets. It's well, possible. Okay, so if the Rockets are a really good team, then all of a sudden you can add one more team on the list that the Kings are going to have to compete with just to get into the tournament this year. And by the tournament, I'm talking about the top 10. Uh, I I don't know what else to say. You know, the Rockets have now won three in a row after starting off without a a win. They've now won three in a row. And as you said, not only are the Kings two and four, they're one and three on the road, which was their bright spot a season ago. That was their bright spot. And and Grant, if De'Aaron Fox plays tonight and he never sprained his ankle, but you get the same performance out of the supporting cast, does it even make a difference? They probably don't win the game, no. But I think they're competitive. And so I guess now when you look at this roster, when Fox is not on the floor, you're one of the worst teams on the league. I mean, let's just call it the way it is. When you don't have the Aaron Fox on the floor, offensively, you're one of the worst teams in the league. Even though they lost to the Warriors by only a point. What was it? They only scored 105, right? Was that the score? Uh, I think it was 102, 101 or 103. Okay, well, whatever it was, it was was well below what we are accustomed to seeing, right? Now, Now you go to Houston. And you score 89 and 97, respectively. So here's what this means, based on a a small sample size, by the way. Mm -hmm. When you don't have De'Aaron Fox on the floor with this year's team, you are maybe the worst offensive team in basketball. Let that digest on that for a minute. (laughs) That's going to take a while to digest. Um, That's even difficult to swallow the thought of it, but... You're right. I mean, you look at the front court, Grant, even on nights when you have De'Aaron Fox, usually you get a decent performance out of either Harrison Barnes or Keegan Murray. We've yeah. now seen consistently through the start of the season, the front court is doing almost nothing at times. Nothing. nothing. Keegan Murray, uh, what did he have tonight? Uh, five he, had a, he had 12 points. Or 12 points, excuse me. Harrison Barnes is who I was looking at. Three points tonight, Grant. Invisible. Three Invisible. points, and as you mentioned at the top, Sabonis, only four shots, and he was three of four. Ah. Why are you not going back there? Hey, if you want to make yourself feel better, go to Bennett's, okay? You'll you'll feel a lot better because you're going to have a great meal. Their prime seafood and steak at Bennett's West Side Grill. That's one of three locations. They're in Sacramento and Roseville as well. If you go to Bennett's, restaurants.com check out the menu you can make a reservation don't forget about their weekend brunch they have happy hour specials they have over 60 different types of wine available by the glass pretty remarkable uh bennett's is their newest location at the blue oaks town center in rockland again go to bennett's restaurants.com and get all of the information on bennett's and make a reservation that's bennett's restaurants Dot com. 122 to 97, the final. We are seeing all of the messages come in, and I am, uh, it's not, I'm ignoring you, I'm reading them. I just, I have no explanation for what we saw in the last 48 hours. I really don't. Except jet lag. We, we can rule that one. <laughs> and and they're, uh, they went to De'Aaron Fox's uh, retirement yeah. Uh, Jersey ceremony. It is what high school was it? Yeah, yeah it is high school. Yeah, so yeah. that that's it, you know, and that the hangover for that didn't only last one game. It lasted all the way until tonight. So there you have a road it. trip. Up. There you have it. That, there that, it is. That's a brutal three hour flight uh, to Houston. Boy, that that can take a lot out of you on a chartered aircraft mm-hmm. with, you know, great food and uh, that I'm, I've done it. Many, 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 many. It just kicks my ass. I mean, I've struggled to announce games. When I have to go on a three-hour flight, especially when I get there and I I, I don't have to work that night and I have oh, all yeah. day to – it kills me. Like, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you what I need to do to get myself mentally ready to broadcast a game after that brutal three-hour flight. 
Yeah, and Grant, you're you're what six two, six yeah. three? Can, yeah. can you only imagine if you're six nine, seven foot? I mean, those seats are so tight too. I mean, those guys to be sitting in those positions for three hours, can't Damn. imagine it. Yeah, mm-hmm. got to be an absolute moron to make a comment like that. You know, Terrible. you really do. You, just gotta, but that, you know, it, you, though, go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm just saying it's just, it's 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 embar- that's just as embarrassing as the Kings' performance. Yeah, and I think that's the that's the important line to draw. We're not getting down on the Kings. We're just calling it out as it is, as many of you are in the chat. You're seeing it. And so you got to be real with the fan base. The fan base is seeing the product on the floor. Don't make excuses. Let's just talk about it, figure out what the problem is, and go forward. Man, 122 to 97, uh, the final. I don't even know what to expect coming up on Wednesday, other than you and I are going to have a watch party on Pro Sports Fans. So if you have not yet downloaded that to your phone, Rhino, um, tell people what they need to do. Yeah, go to the Apple Store on your phone or Google Play if you are Android. Uh, Download Pro Sports Fans, PSF for short. And uh, once you sign in, really easy process to get logged in. You can choose the Kings or please choose the Kings as a preferred team. Open up the Kings thread, and Grant and I, once it's game time, we'll be right there on video talking about the game, taking your questions, and uh, having our watch party. And we will still be – Ryan was going to have the pregame at 6.30. Jerry will join us at halftime right here, and then Ryan and I will have the postgame. So nothing changes. Nothing. Other than the fact that when the game's on, you can follow it with us, you can watch the game, and you can interact with us on uh, Pro Sports Fans. Yep, we're we're watching it all together digitally, but like Grant said, come right back here for halftime post game. This is still the place to be. One twenty two to ninety seven. The Sacramento Kings are now two and four, going home to take on a team that's ahead of them in the standings, the Portland Trailblazers. Thank you very much for the super chat donations. It's greatly appreciated. Maybe the Thank Kings you. should come back to Sacramento. On the wagon train on Highway 50, <laughs> this would be a deserved punishment for those past two games. Do you want me to once again have to do a rant on the wagon trains on 50 for crying out loud? Good yeah. Lord. Oh I've never God. heard about the wagon trains on 50. Can you seriously? Yeah, I've never heard I'm up, of I'm, 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 I'm heading up to Tahoe for the celebrity golf tournament, you know, at like, uh, I guess, you know, 10 in the morning on Wednesday. All right. And it took me like three hours to get up there because periodically they had 50 closed off for wagon trains, like, you know, (laughs) reenacting what it was like for the settlers. And I'm like, let me explain something to you. If you want to reenact what it was really like, get your ass off the paved highway, get in the woods, go over the freaking rocks and over the terrain. All right. If you want to do it, make it realistic. Don't go on Highway 50 with the freaking California Highway Patrol escorting you, blocking off traffic. Because you're not reenacting <laughs> squat with your costumes, your stupid ass hats, and your wagon trails. All right, be 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 real, okay? <laughs> be freaking real. Go where the rattlesnakes are. Go where the bears are. Yeah. Go where the mountain lions are. Get your yeah. ass off the paved highway, all right? <laughs> Stop it with this nonsense. You want to impress me? You want to reenact what it was like years ago? Be real, okay? Be freaking real. When they settled here in the gold country, they weren't on Highway freaking 50, all right? Stop it already. <laughs> and I got to be delayed going up to work? That's right. I'm going to work. Freaking work. Work. <laughs> and I got the road closed for a wagon train. Really? That's reenacting what it was like when they first came to California in the gold country? No. That's my (laughs) rant for today. Nabes, I bet those wagon trains had AAA too, in case one of those uh, wheels came off. Unbelievable. (laughs) That was great. Well played. Well done. 122 to 97. Seriously. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness! Oh my What's wrong uh, with me? Uh, you're a beauty. I'm stealing your word, but you are a beauty, my friend. <laughs> Bowling <laughs> Green Spiders. I normally add a word into that sentence, but thank you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh wow. At least All we right. can make hey, ourselves uh, laugh. <laughs> hey, I want to <laughs> tell you, 
uh, about this great project uh, by Blazona Development. And if you go to that website on your screen, calusasunrise.com, you can see their current project, Sunrise Landing in Calusa. They have six models to choose from. They are already sold out of phase one, currently in phase two and three. No Melaroos, no homeowners at Sunrise Landing, a project from Blazona Development. So check it out. Sunrise Landing at Calusa sunrise.com that's calusa sunrise.com and check it out for those of you in that area or thinking of moving this is a phenomenal phenomenal neighborhood the project sunrise landing in calusa check it out all right uh 122 to 97 i don't know what else to say in this game uh that that's about as bad as it gets plain and simple that's about as bad as it gets yeah, the only thing to say is it can only go up from there or from here. It, it really should. Um, I, I have faith in Mike Brown. I have faith in this team. Uh, there's a reason they ran it back. It's yep. early in the season. Let, let's give them a chance to bounce back. I'll tell you, if they play like this on Wednesday, they will get booed off the floor and deservedly so. How many times has a team got booed off the floor during your time in Sacramento? Oh, it was a fairly common occurrence after really? uh after uh, it started to, they started to boo for the first time in 97, 98. And then after, I want to say when Rick Adelman left, there was a grace period for a year. And then after that, the booing was fairly regular uh, for the last few years at Arco. And obviously we've heard it on multiple occasions at Golden One Center. Yeah, we have heard it at Golden One a few times. But you think yeah. about those lean years, yeah. It would be weird to see it again make its return, especially this early in the season. With or without Fox, if they play like tonight, they deserve to get booed. Yeah, 100%. You know? uh, yeah. 100%. Now, I would also say this, okay? Uh, they're 2-4. and four. They're not 2-24, and 24, all right? Mm -hmm. This season is in its infancy. And it doesn't take much to turn it around and get going. We saw that last year, all right? We saw that last year. But they're going to – again, the feeling of what I'm looking at right now is a different feeling than I had last year when they had the same record. Uh, last year, it felt like they just got beat. They got a bad bounce, you know. They had what it took to win many of those games at the start of the season, and this year it's it's different. You know, the Kings aren't even showing up and giving themselves a chance to win, um, and that's the difference that I'm pulling from the team, and certainly that is under a microscope with De'Aaron Fox out. Yes, it is uh, a big time uh, microscope. Again, I'm looking at uh, the scores. It looks like Denver uh, will hold on, although there is still uh, time left for uh, New Orleans, who led for most of this game, but they're now down uh, 110 to 100. So we were keeping an eye on that. Oh, and by the way, guess who won in Minnesota? The Minnesota Timberwolves oh. handed the Boston Celtics a loss of 114-109. So not only do the Kings lose, all right, Rhino, but a lot of the teams around them won. And that you weren't counting on Minnesota to beat the Celtics and handing them their first loss. Give Minnesota credit. They get the win. They've now won three in a row, and they're four and two. So, I mean, if you're looking at the standings early, you ready for this? You got Denver, who might go to seven and one Dallas mm -hmm. won tonight. They're six and one golden state won tonight. They're six and two Minnesota won. They're four and two. All right. The Pelicans will probably lose to go to four and three and Oklahoma city won. They're four and three and near the bottom of the standings, the Kings are two and four. Yeah. And many of the teams coming into the season that were picked ahead of the Kings are below the Kings or with the Kings right now. So yeah. you talk about your New Orleans, your Minnesotas. I mean, heck, Grant, we were talking about Golden State. They look good this year. They have played yeah. well so far. But it, it's it's early. It's early. It's an 82-game season. But, uh, you know, they've got to figure this out quick, especially coming back on the home court. Yeah, well, uh, some final thoughts, my friend, as we wrap this show up. Yeah, they they absolutely have to get the win against Portland or else I will not hear the end of it by Haunted Horse. So 
Please, oh Kings, help me out here. Help yep. me out. It'll yep. be a dumpster fire. All right, again, <laughs> go to the you know Apple Store, Play Store on Android, Pro Sports Fans, PSF. Download PSF. the app and watch the game with us on Wednesday, and then we'll be here pregame, halftime, postgame. Yeah, and uh, check out our social medias up until then as well. We'll put some information out and some videos, make it really easy for you if any questions about getting All right. Sounds good, buddy. I appreciate you. Good job today. Thanks, Dave. Again, folks, uh, I don't know what else to say other than thanks for joining us through this painful postgame show. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate the thumbs up, and we'll talk to you on Wednesday. Hang in there. There's a lot of basketball left. I think that probably is going to be more of a good thing than a bad thing.